This is a farce that we're going through at the moment and the country has great issues to deal with. And whilst we've got these distractions, we can't deal with them. I've made the point before that we can have a group of sensational individuals, but unless we're playing as a team, we're not going to get the message across and we're not going to position ourselves as a party as the alternative. For so long as we think that this is an exercise around personalities and individuals, we miss the fundamental strength of what political parties are and in particular what the Labor Party can be. Have you spoken to Kevin Rudd recently? Oh, well, I spoke to him last week in the, uh, in the Parliament. I speak to him on a regular basis. I must say they're curt sort of conversations because Kevin's a bit like that at times. What do you mean? Can't you talk to him? Of course the I way can. you're I... saying now, you're speaking to him indirectly. Yeah. Can't you say those things directly? Well... I've said this on many occasions to not just him, um, to all others. This is what the party has to do. Now, Kevin hasn't got the numbers to challenge. How many got has him? he got? Oh, look, he's well short of anywhere near a majority and even the Australian's analysis keeps changing by the day and is still wrong. 33, 34, I no, went through it with one of the numbers players no, no. yesterday. 33 or 34 is he as many as he's got. He hasn't got it, but what... See, he can't That's out of 103. For all the time that he's been trying to say that he's different, a different Kevin, a new Kevin, all he does is reinforce the old Kevin. Um, for all the argument of trying to convince people internally he doesn't succeed, so his supporters' other strategy is to go public to try and make the comparison of popularity between the two leaders. When you know mid-term the issue isn't popularity, it's leadership. So where do you go to? Do you call a spill next Monday when you're all back in the national capital? I wouldn't. If he thinks he's got the numbers, let him challenge. But if but he, he hasn't and he won't. Then, he then it just has. drags on, doesn't it? He never has. Well... I just I think that what's got to happen is the Prime Minister's got to have the discussion with him. After all, he's foreign minister because of a discussion they had during the last election campaign. You might remember it, a very frosty one on TV. I don't know what the details of that discussion were, but clearly it was. I will have you in a senior position in my team, but you've got to be part of the team. Clearly he's not playing as part of the team, and I think that conversation should happen if he can't be part of the team, he should exit the team should or she, challenge. Should she sack him? That's a question of judgment for her based on that conversation. But what would but you if do? In fact, if, in fact, the results over the weekend, this conversation he was having last November with Mr Wilkie are any guide, and he denies it, but if that's any guide, he's clearly been disloyal internally. Now, well, I know that he has been talking to other people. Do you have the evidence? Do you need the evidence? I think you need a conversation, and it needs to be a frank one, and it needs to be an assertion of leadership by the Prime Minister, and then we get on with the task.